I got a chance to see Ford versus Ferrari this weekend, and I loved it. Great. It is a fantastic yeah. movie, and I sometimes have to watch a show or a movie because someone's coming on the program, and I have to sort of walk my way around it. I've this been movie, in some of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, no, yeah, this movie is flat out great. It's Thank fantastic. You. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out, and... I'm not really a car person, so when I read the script and loved it that much, I knew I knew there was something. You don't great, have to be a there. car person. I'm not a car person, right? You know, yeah, uh, I mean, I have a, a lightning bolt on the side of my Prius. Uh, <laughs> this does thing, that make it go faster? No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> but man, it's a lady magnet. Uh, <laughs> But I, but not, no. What I, what I loved about it is it's just a great story, and the relationship between you and Christian Bale's character is incredibly. I mean, it, that's what draws you in. You don't have yeah. to be a car person to love this movie. Yeah, it's it, it, Christian plays this guy Ken Miles, and I play Carol Shelby. And Shelby was obviously by the end of his life a very famous uh, car, car builder. Car, car builder, designer, and, yeah. yeah. And he and, uh, but Ken is is lesser known, and he was this great engineer and driver who helped. Shelby build the GT40, um, which is the one they took to Le Mans in 1966 to try to right. take and on the, Ferrari. The, the central story is uh, Ford at the time, not an internationally respected brand up there with Ferrari, those people that are making these amazing Swiss watches for cars. And uh, then uh, you guys have this challenge. Can we build a car that can beat Ferrari? It's a great story. I have to say, one of the most tense scenes in the movie for me is as great as the racing scenes are, you have a fight scene with Christian Bale, and he yeah. is such a kinetic actor who I would imagine is such an intense personality. I'm thinking, I would be afraid to have a fight scene with Christian Bale, you no, know? Oh, that'd be, yeah, he's the safest person to have a fight scene with because he's unbelievably professional, so he's oh. very, and this fight is, was one of my favorite fights, and I, I would, at the risk of speaking for him, one of his too, um, because it was, it's the opposite of of Batman fighting Jason Bourne. Yes. Yeah. That's which what I was going to say. It's really fun. <laughs> when you hear that Matt Damon and Christian Bale have a fight scene, you think of this incredibly intense, and it's the it's the it's two real people having what a real fight looks like. Right. Guys who don't fight. Guys who don't fight. <laughs> guys who don't fight who actually like love each other and are great friends and yeah. have an old friendship. So it's it's more like the way you you fight with your brother. Yes. Where you're like. There's this line that intuitively you know, you know where it is. Yes. And sometimes you hit a little too hard and it's like, ah, sorry. Yeah, you know, that won't but happen you, again. You still want to hit them, but you just, you don't want to really hurt them. But so. what I love too is that uh, Christian's character is carrying a bag of groceries when the fight breaks out with you. So you're both using the groceries that he has in his bag right. to hit each other. <laughs> Yeah, and there's actually a moment where I reach, and I reach out, he's, he's getting the better of me, so I reach out and grab this, it's like a can of corn. And I, I like, look at it and realize I don't want to hit him with that, that would really hurt. Yeah. So I grab the Wonder Bread and start hitting him <laughs> with the Wonder Bread. Which is really fun. Which is the worst weapon in the world. Yeah. I will kill you with Wonder Bread. I mean, Jason Bourne could probably do it. He could probably right. figure out a way to he would. soak the Wonder Bread and, you know, <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, He'd like, real quickly, yeah, like, yeah. with friction, turn it into a rope of bread right, and right. then strangle you. Yeah, a wonder rope. Yeah, a wonder yeah, rope. Yeah, it's a, a thing. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get a call to promote that. Uh, you know, I, I know that you're from the Boston area, as am I, and there's this reputation that, like, Boston guys know how to fight. I'm always going way out of my way to say, no, I do not. I was in one fight in my life. I did very, very poorly, very quickly. <laughs> And this is, uh, th mine was in the north end of Boston. Did you ever get in any fights as a kid? I, I'm like you. I, I really tried to avoid them because there are people in Boston who really do know how to fight. Yes. And, and, uh, and you know if you're one of them or not. And yeah. so, uh, <laughs> but no, the last fight I got into <clears throat> would have been in the, in the mid 80s. And uh, we had a, I remember it, we had a snow day at school. So we would all meet in, uh, in the Cambridge Common and, and play tackle football, mm -hmm. you know, because there'd be a foot of snow on the ground. And so it was kind of you like, you can't get hurt. You yeah. can't really get hurt. Uh, so, so it was a really fun thing to do. And uh, I mouthed off to a kid that I knew, he, but he was, he was like your height. He was like six foot six. Right. And I might have been five three at the time. <laughs> and, uh, and I said something, I, I, had, I had scored on him or something, and I, I don't know, I said something, but, I, but he, he came for me. And it was like this mountain of a guy came at me, and I was like, oh, man. So before I knew it, it was like I was on the ground, he was, he was above me, and I was like, this is going to be bad. And it was right then that little five-foot-two Ben Affleck tackled this dude off of me, 
Whoa. Like out of nowhere. I was like a junior and he was like a freshman. And, and he tackled this kid off of me and literally at the risk of his own life. And really quickly, then everyone broke it up because they wanted to get back to like the football game because that right. was fun and right. this was ridiculous. Right. And so, he, so that was the end of it. And the kid was reasonable and he was like, all right, I'm not fighting. He's like, all right, I'm let's, let's play. But I remember that was like a big moment going like, this guy is like, he will, he will put himself in a really bad spot for me. Like, this yeah. is a good friend. And he will be Batman. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So that was the other time in my life I've been in a fight with said, Batman. No, Batman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly.